As the country grapples with rolling blackouts, Electricity Minister Dr. Honsienzo Ramachopa has proposed to delay plans to decommission some of the country's aging coal-fired power stations. Turbine rotors are one of the components used in these power stations. They work for a certain period and need to be replaced. This is costly and requires power stations to be switched off. What we do is to use a small samples extracted from the power plant to find ways of assessing the remaining life using a microscope such as this one. If you look at the energy crisis in our country right now, we, we are in big trouble. So we need to find ways of extending the life of power plant rotors. An electron microscope is used to study the components in the turbine rotors to determine their exact lifespan. Dr. Johan Vetstrud, a senior researcher at the Center for High Resolution Transmission Electron Microscopy at Nelson Mandela University and a mastermind behind this project, explains this process. So this technique was developed by our engineering department. We have an engineering engagement entity called ENSA at the Nelson Mandela University and they worked with ESCOM uh, to develop this uh, technique where they can take out pieces and then also replace uh, the, the, the um, uh, hole that they formed in the sample. Um, they patented this technology and uh, uh, they made a spin-off company called WeldCore that does this commercially for not only um, ESCOM but also for other industries um, so what they do is they go to high value very expensive components they take out these samples and then uh, what we do our contribution is to use then the electron microscopes to study these extracted components in more detail and then we can make an assessment of the uh, remaining life or whether or not when you have to replace the component Dr. Nyembe believes this innovation will reduce the severity of rolling blackouts. Rotors are very expensive and they are very expensive so you don't want to replace them when they can still perform. So you need to find ways of determining if is it really safe to retire them now or they can <coughs> still perform, generate more electricity. So that's the main purpose why we are doing this because we want to extend the life to save a money though the country is getting towards renewable energy it will take some time for this to take effect and without additional capacity the country can't just switch off the existing power plants i am sinetemba witi for sabc news Abeha.